Hello Bots and Bits fans, today we're not taking a look at Masterpiece Ironhide, we're taking a look at Shadow Fisher SFM 03 Hip Upgrades for Masterpiece Ironhide. You'll all remember these skirts were the cause of some controversy and a plenty of debate. But you know, like the skirts or hate the skirts, it is cool that we have the option now. So having a quick look at the packaging, the instructions are on the back and they do seem pretty simple. They claim you can do it in about four steps. So I'm not saying you can't do it, but I am going to show the installation because it just sometimes it helps to see someone else do it first. All right, that's enough talking about it. Let's get it out. <laughs> Don't flick the parts everywhere, Sam, you idiot. Okay, so we have the side doors, which are on this hinge for transformation. Now I'm told that's pretty stiff, but it's not too bad. I am worried a little bit, however, about this corner piece digging into that yellow paint. See that little sharp bit on the edge? That reaches, I don't know, only just. Doesn't seem to be impacting it at all. That's pretty well done. This side is very stiff. Doesn't quite go down as far, which I don't think it will really matter in transformation. But yeah. The wheel pieces, the silver paint is done reasonably well. A few sprue marks there, nothing too drastic. The hinge, is pretty stiff and it's got this one single tooth mark right there for um, locking it in place in vehicle mode. Now I have seen that these sections here can be quite stiff once they're applied, a little bit too stiff. So we'll see how we go with that. Uh, we get the other wheel, no real surprise. Nice to know. Uh, we get a screwdriver for doing it all. If I can get it out. Should be helpful and thankfully a little blister with um, the screws in it and that sticky tape down. Just want to get that out. There we go. And enough extended screws to do it all. Alright, without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. Alright, so for starters, let's just get everything out of the way. Pull these out. Let's just move all of this right out of the way. Now, I'm going to use a different screwdriver because I have a real hard time holding these. So I'm just going to use this one. We're going to remove these three screws. All right, so with those three screws all sorted, let's just put them somewhere. And then just let all that fall apart. All right, put it aside. Now, we don't need these bits anymore. Then, bring his chest out. Actually, let's just take that off. So, we're going to remove these two bottom screws here. Then grab a couple of your new screws. Let's just put them all here. Now they're all the same length, so don't be concerned about picking the wrong one. Now, so which side? We'll do this side first. So this section here is going on there, and you're going to slot this bit here in between, and you've got a tab right there. It's going to go in this tab hole. So let's just slot it on. There we go. Sort it, and I'll just stick the other side on as well. It does require just a little bit of massaging, but you'll get there. Grab your bumper, and make sure we line it up correctly. That looks good. And then we'll chuck these new screws in. There we go. Everything is looking secure. Right, onto the hips. So I'm just going to test to make sure that this does slide on correctly now. Is that the right side? I think so. All right, other one maybe. Okay, so that's on. And it is a little bit stiff. But otherwise, you know, it's it seems pretty, pretty smooth on there. I'm not going to adjust these sliders. 
No, nah, that looks fine to me. So let's get these wheels right out of the way for when we reattach all of this. Back on and line it up. All right, then we grab our new screws. Let's just secure it with this one first. Would have helped if this was a magnetic screwdriver, but... Now, when it comes to rotating these wheel sections around, you really want to move the leg in like that to give it enough clearance, right? And then move the other leg in like that. So it has plenty of clearance around the thighs. Otherwise, these pegs here get caught and it flexes the plastic a little bit. But, slot them in, fold these around in place and there he is done now I am absolutely loving that and let's just get him standing in a way that's not so gumby that is so much better don't you think massive improvement massive improvement that uh, I'm loving Ironhide just that little bit more now he's still not the best masterpiece figure but, you know, um, that's made a huge difference. Hang on, put some old screws, let's get rid of them. So there he is, all done up in bot mode. And I think you'll agree, that looks a million times better. I like how they've added this hinge up here just to um, let the side of the van slot up with what's already there. And because it breaks up the side door a little bit, it does make it look a lot more mechanical. And it does make it fit in a lot better with all of this section, in my opinion, anyway. I think that looks great. Another benefit of removing the hip skirts is a huge improvement in outward hip articulation, as you can see. When it comes to the paint, let's just zoom in and have a good look. So that yellow paint is done reasonably well. Uh, probably about as good as the Takara. So I'm not disappointed with that. The red matches perfectly. That red, it's even got the same shine to it. Look at that. That red plastic just matches brilliantly. When we go down to the hips, it's a little bit different. While it's sculpted well and it's painted well, you can tell that this is a different style of silver paint to this. It might not be as noticeable on camera, but in hand, you can tell that there's like a 10% difference between the two. You can't really notice it when it's all the way back, but when you hold it up, and have a really close look, you can notice that it's not it's not quite right. Does it matter? I'm not gonna take marks away for that because it looks fantastic. We do have sprue marks on the top, which are a little bit annoying, so they do mess up the paint a tad. But apart from that, the wheels are done the same. Let's have a compare. The Zakara wheels have slightly more reflection to them, but these wheels look all right. You might see a slight difference in vehicle mode. And with that said, let's have a look at him in vehicle mode. And there he is in vehicle mode. Now, if you didn't know any better, you'd think this is exactly how it came out of the box. That just looks fantastic. Look at that. The wheels are at the right level. Um, that one's hanging down just a little bit, but that's because of my uneven surface. If I put it on another tile there, uh, still a little bit leaning back. That doesn't really matter too much, I guess. Now, the color does look exactly the same except for this flap here this transformation flap you can tell that's a slightly less shinier red than the rest of it but the rest of this panel to my naked eye looks exactly the same as that and the same with this yellow stripe how they've just matched it up with the corner on this bit here that yellow is exactly the same all the way through lines up well this all tabs in together really well on the other side i do have a slight alignment issue here but I've only ever transformed this once before. I had to try and sort of remember it as I went along. And as you can see, I haven't lined it up properly. I, I, I didn't know what I was doing. So don't judge the alignment based on my transformation because I think I've screwed it up. But it does look good. It does fit well. The wheels do roll even on this plastic. And underneath, they've got like a single ratchet click in this hinge to hold it in place. And also, something that might concern me a little bit is just in here where it's been held in place by that ratchet click. It is also leaning. Um, hang on, let me see if I can get the focus. It is also leaning on the thigh. 
and that's a that's a um, corner right there. So I'd be worried if you are if you're someone that plays with them and um, you drop it or something. I'd be worried that that corner uh, might in fact damage the paint. But I haven't seen any evidence of that. This is just my thoughts from looking at it. And there's not really much more to say about this. Uh, vehicle mode, it tabs together well, matches paint-wise, I'd say about a good 90%. Everything holds together, everything feels built well. I didn't have any stress, I didn't have any breakages, didn't have any problems whatsoever. So if you find those hips a big problem, I highly recommend you just go out and buy this. It, you saw from the video, it does not take long to install. And yeah, that's it, go buy it. Now, if you have any comments, questions, love or corrections, please leave them below. If you enjoyed my video and you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. Remember to check out my Facebook. We have daily news and updates on third party and KO stuff. Yeah, we've been pretty busy the last couple of days. There's been a ton of news coming out and a lot of drama. So, as always, thank you very much for your time and thanks for watching.